This is a recipe for meatless burgers. This is quinoa and red beans. And so a can of red beans, a cup of quinoa, uh, a cup of beets. You can get the canned beets. You can boil them yourself. A cup of chopped red onion. Nutritional yeast, two tablespoons. Two tablespoons of flax seeds. I put them in a coffee grinder. Grind them up. Gives it a nice texture, helps bind it together. <clears throat> Excellent source of antioxidants also. Tomato sauce, just two teaspoons. I use the unsalted variety. Garlic powder. Garlic powder, yep. Onion powder. Just a teaspoon. Smoked paprika. One teaspoon. Teaspoon of pepper. This is miso paste. You can use white miso paste or brown miso paste. <clears throat> I use a knife to get it out because <laughs> if you use a measuring spoon, you'll never get it out of the spoon. So I just estimate the amount. Um, then about a cup of white button mushrooms. You can leave the stems on, just chop them up. Toss them in. All right, well, after you mix it up, it's already starting to look like something. The next ingredient are walnuts. I soak them overnight in water to soften them up a little bit. That'll be important for the food processor. <clears throat> Use about a cup again, half a cup to a cup, chop them up. Toss them in. Okay. So you've got the whole thing in the bowl. You're going to mix it up and you're going to grab your food processor. I have a really small food processor. So I didn't realize you could get big ones. I could have put this whole thing in one food processor. Instead, I had to break it down to little pieces. So you blend it, and it comes out looking a little bit like raw ground beef. Yeah, looks like it, feels like it, smells like it, and it even tastes like it. Because I've never tasted raw ground beef, but anyway, you put it in the uh, fridge for a little while, just to let it firm up a little bit. Check on the axolotl. Hey there, buddy. Hey, where's my food? Why don't you feed me? <laughs> he eats bloodworms. Hey, Rosé. Okay, so we take it out of the fridge. Out of the refrigerator. <clears throat> take some parchment paper. Put it on a baking sheet. And uh, then you're going to just kind of you know, roll them into balls and squish them onto the uh, parchment. You can also fry them too. That takes longer. 
I like to do the baking method. You, know, you can bake and then fry afterwards if you want. So if that was real meat, she'd be licking that bowl right now. <laughs> All right, so I set the temperature for about 375. And uh, just put the patties. Yeah, you can put them in the middle. You can put them on the top. I put them on the top. And uh, set the timer for about 15 minutes. And then after 15 minutes, take them out and flip them over and go for another 15 minutes. And then, and then they come out looking like and tasting like burger patties. You can think of them as patties or cutlets maybe. But yeah. That's it. Look at that. Doesn't that look like a fried burger? I'm telling you, to the naked eye <laughs> and the naked nose, it's virtually identical, but there's no meat. No meat, Coda. No cow. Look at this. Looks like it. It cuts like it. Same texture. Mmm. Tastes so good.